Well, it's a brand new week, so that means, of course, that there's something new that all of conservatives are collectively outraged over. I think that we finally moved past the uh, Mr. Potato Head controversy, and we're beyond the cat in the hat kerfuffle. But now the new source of outrage on the right is uh, Blue's Clues and Nickelodeon, apparently. So they posted a video to their YouTube channel titled The Blue's Clues Pride Parade Sing-Along featuring Nina West. And I don't know if this aired on television, but regardless, you can see just its existence on YouTube set off a firestorm. They disabled comments. The like-to-dislike ratio is like 50-50. I mean, it's obvious conservatives are very, very offended by this. And one conservative who chose to speak up and condemn this is Emily Jashinsky, who is the newest conservative populist co-host on the hill tv's rising show and she writes nothing to see here just the educated elite using their corporate platforms responsibly yes because it's so irresponsible to teach children to not hate gay and trans people is that is that really what you're concerned with she's a conservative populist but yet she's espousing 2000s bush era traditional family values rhetoric very very populist of you i mean I believe that she was sent there to normalize Sagar and Jetty, to make him look intelligent, because Lord knows every conservative populist that I've come across so far sounds just like every other Republican, except sometimes they say corporations bad. But I mean, you're kind of in lockstep with what the rest of the Republican Party wants, and you're siding with them in this culture war which they have to wage because they don't offer any substantive policy. So, I mean, it's just a joke, but I don't want to beat up on Emily too much because there were other conservatives who were offended by something else that Nickelodeon did. They posted a song about gay pride, uh, I think to their YouTube channel, and Newsmax absolutely could not handle this. Take a look. All right, Isabella, I'm going to give you a doozy. It seems like Nickelodeon has gone off the deep end. I, I don't understand what it is with, with not that I have anything against gay people, whatever it may be, but their transgender indoctrination to kids is just out in left field. Watch this video from Nickelodeon. Do you understand the amount of questions parents are going to get after that? I don't get what it is, Isabella. Do you? No, and it's a really, I just can't imagine it being anything besides some sinister motives. But something that really bothers me is I, I don't hate, like, like you said, I don't have a problem with gay people. I don't care about transgender people. My problem is that you're shoving it down everyone's throats. And I reject any Pride Month that is just celebrating identity politics. That is bigotry. And I just, that's why I don't like the idea of a Pride Month, whether it's for any sort of topic or identity group. So this is creepy and makes me never want to have kids because I don't want to bring them into a world where this is being pushed on them and it's scary, including critical race theory in public schools. Well, you know, that is another issue we covered on this program is that more and more people your age are not wanting to have children, which is going to create a huge budget crisis for the United States. <laughs> come time when we need them paying taxes but that's a whole nother story all of this commotion over a fucking cartoon yeah i mean i just i don't understand it like these folks need a hobby find something better to do with your time than to like look for things to be outraged over isn't this what you say that we do on the left and here you are getting outraged over a cartoon i mean look that's not to say that I wouldn't dislike a cartoon targeting children. Like I spoke out against Prager U's videos where they're trying to indoctrinate kindergartners with right-wing misinformation. That's bad. But I don't get outraged over it. I just think, okay, that's that's stupid. But these folks literally get angry over it. Like you could see in their face, like they're trying to hold it in, but it's basically that meme, the Wojak of like the uh, the happy face mask on when behind the mask they're crying. That's what these folks are. And they both said there, uh, well, I don't hate gay people. That last host said, uh, I don't hate gay people. I don't have a problem with transgender people. They want us to think, oh, well, thank God that they don't hate gay people. We definitely needed their affirmation. But we fucking hate you. <laughs> I don't speak for every single gay person, but I think I speak for at least 99.98% of the LGBTQ plus community when I say we fucking can't stand you. We hate you and we don't accept you. So you might not hate us, but we can't stand you. Fuck you. 
But uh, I mean, what a snowflakey thing to say. I just don't want it to be shoved down our throats. What's being shoved down your throats? It's like a couple of songs, some extra rainbow logos from large multinational corporations, like once a year during Pride Month. Is that really tantamount to them shoving it down your throats? I mean, that's such a snowflakey thing to say. By that same standard, I could say, look, I'm tired of heterosexuality being shoved down my throat. Because every time you watch a movie, there's always straight couples and they're kissing. Every single romantic comedy is basically, you know, a guy and a girl. Every time I, you know, come into contact with one of my um, my siblings, they talk about their, their opposite sex spouse. Stop shoving it down my throat. Oh. No, I don't say that because I'm not a fucking snowflake. I'm not a snowflake. But to them... They don't like being reminded that gay people exist. And really what this is about is they think, incorrectly so, that if children are taught not to hate gay people, that it's going to make their kids turn gay. Like, it's not that they don't want those values instilled into their children because that that's part of it. Like, they want to teach their kids that gay bad. But there's also another layer to their stupidity. They literally believe that if you teach children to accept gay and trans people, that they're going to be gay and trans. You're going to think, oh, that looks cool. I'm going to be gay now. But that's not the way that it, that it works. But that's like conservative logic for you. They're stupid and they don't understand it. So that's really what this is about. That's what the hysteria is over. It's the same reason why back in the 60s, conservatives didn't want to accept interracial marriage because they believed that once you open that door, then all of a sudden, all of your white daughters are going to want to marry black men. That's literally the scare tactic that they used. And it's so ironic to me that they claim to be against identity politics. They focus almost exclusively on identity politics, but then simultaneously they'll denounce identity politics. Just like being aware that gay people exist in and of itself, that's not identity politics. What you're doing, ironically, is in fact identity politics. This antiquated culture war bullshit that your party keeps rehashing, that is identity politics, dummy. And you focus on this while the rest of society moves on and accepts gay people and trans people. But because your party and ideology are morally bankrupt and you have zero policy solutions, you focus on wedge issues like this and you try to gin up hatred against gay and trans people. And yet you claim, oh, well, you know, we're not against gay and trans people. We just don't want it shoved down our throats. Shut the fuck up, you snowflakes. Prove to us that you don't hate gay people. Prove to us that you're not snowflakes. Prove to us that you yourself are not trying to engage in cancel culture by canceling like Blue's Clues or get them to remove this video. Prove to us that you're better than us. Prove to us that you're better than you say we are by shutting the fuck up about things like this. Mr. Potato Head, Cat in the Hat, Blue's Clues, pick a serious issue, just one. And maybe focus on that for a change. Jesus Christ. Conservatives are so fucking brain dead.